What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidIt.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a microphone to record a singer or a rapper. Let's get into it. Bro, I really hope he likes this new melody. Bro, this is, I know he's recording, bro, but this is too fire. <laughs> hey, bro, nah, look, bro, I got this melody, bro. I told you not to come in the studio, son. You know what I'm saying? I told you, wait, 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 wait. come on, man. Bro, it's me. Oh, you have. Bro, it's me. Oh, you had a hood on, bro. I had a hood on. Bro, I didn't even, I didn't even recognize you. Bro, I produce beats too. Man, I am playing. All right, so we're first going to adjust the height of the mic to fit our artist or singer. Right here, you could see I adjusted the mic so it perfectly is fit and perfectly straight towards his mouth. So when he raps, it's going to capture everything. This is the first step we need to do before we start messing with mic angles is get the mic to the correct height for the artist we are recording. Now setting the distance of the pop filter. So I'm going to use my hand as a key to give me about two to three inches from the mic to the pop filter. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the artist. On the other side, I'm going to tell them to use their hand the same way I am and move up so we can get about two to three inches away from the pop filter. What this does is allow distance. So when they're saying words, the P's and the S's, the plosives can actually have some room to go through there and break up instead of them being so close that the P's and the S's make it through through the pop filter and go into the mic. We obviously don't want that, so what we're gonna do is move them back a little bit to give some room for the air to actually break up while it goes through the pop filter. So now we're gonna mess with mic angles. So if you aim a mic lower towards someone's chest, you get more of the chest voice, which is more of that deep bass. If you aim it higher towards their nostrils, you get more of their head voice, which is the higher tones and the brighter part of the voice. So if you wanna get more bass out of the artist's voice, instead of boosting in the EQ, you can do this right from the start by taking the mic and angling it a little bit down towards their chest, nothing crazy, you'll start to hear more bass come out of it. Now, if you have an artist with a real deep bassy voice and they're talking like this and you want to get more high end out of their voice all you need to do is take the mic and aim it a little bit up towards their nostrils and their eyes nothing crazy just kind of slightly take it from straight towards their mouth and give it a bit of an angle up towards their head voice the higher tones in the frequency spectrum and now you're going to get a brighter vocal for someone with a deep voice And finally, we're gonna go over mic technique. What this means is when the rapper or singer is performing, they're going to be getting louder and quieter. So you'll see he's over-exaggerating, but at times when he's getting louder, like right here, he's backing up. So you wanna make sure that you let your artist know that when they're getting louder in the performance, if they're starting off real quiet like this, and they start to get really loud, to kind of practice to move back more towards the mic. So if I were to be talking like this and I start talking like this, I was slightly moving back away from the mic. So this takes a lot of practice and it's not something that can be taught in the first time, but just kind of letting them know about mic technique to focus on that so that even if your levels are set very good and they get super loud, they still might clip and it just helps out to make the performance more even with mic technique. So you wanna practice this by when you get to really loud words, you're just kind of moving back a little bit and then coming back in. But like I said, it does take practice and you don't want to over exaggerate this because your vocal will be all over the place dynamically if you mess this up. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, leave a thumbs up, drop a comment down below what you think or some techniques that you like to do. Other than that, subscribe to your boy, push notifications. Thanks.